Hey everybody, this is Graham Colton. Just wanted to say congratulations to all the graduates and best wishes. Hi, this is Kelly O'Hara. I'm from Edmond, Oklahoma. I drove by the University of Central Oklahoma almost every day of my life. I want to talk to you graduates. I know this is not what you ever expected or what you ever planned or dreamed of or hoped for, but it is your reality and it is your story and you have lived through it and you've succeeded through it and you will tell this story forever. This is the year that you succeeded through adversity. So take the bull by the horns, celebrate yourself, celebrate your hard work and celebrate the fact that you're flexible and go into this world and kick some butt. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. You did it, you're now UCO alumni. Now I know that today's ceremony isn't everything that you hoped that it would be, but you can say one thing, you've done something that almost no UCO alumni have done. You've graduated during a pandemic. And I wanna congratulate you on all of the hard work, effort and commitment that you've put in to make it to today. We're all so proud of you. Best wishes for all of the next steps in your future. Hello all my UCO graduates. Matthew Morrison here. I just wanted to check in and say congratulations for graduating. What an honor, what a privilege, what hard work and dedication that you put into your education, into your craft. And I am very, very proud of you. This graduation probably doesn't seem like it, like you imagined it would, but I think this is a great opportunity in our culture, in our lives. I feel like it's a clean slate. This is the beginning of a new revolution, a new revolution of art, and vibrancy, and I think you're the future. So show us what you can do. I'm excited to see it. Congratulations. Over the last 40 years of working in the music industry, I've met lots of amazingly talented musicians and rock stars. They're all dedicated to their craft, just like this graduating class has been. You're dedicated to achieving your goal of graduating through hard work and frankly, struggling through 2020. Watching all of you working at ACM, I know that you truly are the rock stars. Congratulations. I'm Wayne from the band of Flaming Lips, and I'm uh, just saying, hey, uh, wonderful job um, in an extraordinary, strange, challenging year. Um, I think uh, you guys have all uh, showed us the way, showed us what a great, in and you've been a great inspiration to us to just keep working through it and staying optimistic and staying positive. And here you are, you're graduating. So congratulations. Congratulations. We love you. Thank you for working so hard. I'm glad I could be part of your your strange uh, uh, graduation. But um, and how else would I be there? So anyway, thank you for having me. Good luck. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, go out there and change the world. Make it a better place. Make it um, a funner place. Make it a more um, optimistic place. Make it a more loving place out there. Um, uh, I look forward to seeing you. Okay, bye. Thanks. Hi, I'm David Holt, the mayor of Oklahoma City. And I send my warmest congratulations to the fall 2020 graduates of the University of Central Oklahoma. Obviously, this is not how you expected your commencement to go this year, but uh, you are graduating in a very unique time. You know that, and you're gonna long remember uh, this completion to your educational journey. I'm very proud of you. Oklahoma City is very proud of you. We hope that as you move into this next chapter, you will make your life here. We hope you will carve out time to be civically engaged. Your professional career is important. Your family is even more important. But try to part, have a little bit, of, a little part of your life that is focused on the civic life of this city. We are uh, continuing to grow by leaps and bounds here in Oklahoma City, and we want to continue that momentum, and we can't do it without you. So I hope you will consider that as well as you move into this next chapter. Again, we're proud of you. Congratulations. Job well done.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is our sincere pleasure to welcome you to the University of Central Oklahoma Fall 2020 Commencement Ceremony. I am Charlotte Simmons. And I am Gary Stewart. We are the co-interim Vice Presidents for Academic Affairs at UCO. Thank you for joining us virtually to honor our graduates and those who have supported them during their journey to this milestone event. Families and friends of the graduates, those of us at UCO could not be more pleased that you have joined us. The entire UCO community welcomes you to this event and we share your pride for the accomplishments of these students. UCO's president is tasked with providing the vision and the direction for our institution. She embodies the tradition and strengths of our institution through the many leadership skills she brings to the job. In a few moments, you will hear comments from the 21st president of the University of Central Oklahoma, Patty Newhold Ravikumar. We would also like to take a moment to introduce some of our colleagues who represent the key leaders of our campus and impact its daily operations. The President's Cabinet includes Diane Feinberg, Vice President for People and Culture, Kevin Freeman, Vice President for Finance and Operations, Vice President for Advancement is Ann Holzberline, Christopher Lynch is the Vice President for Enrollment and Student Success, Vice President for Communications and Public Affairs is Adrian Nobles, and Kendall Parrish serves as our General Counsel, Sonia Watkins, is the Chief Information Officer for Information Technology. And please allow me to introduce our deans. Dr. Gloria Cadell, Interim Dean, College of Mathematics and Science. Dr. Donna Cobb, Dean, College of Education and Professional Studies. Dr. Jeremy Aller, Interim Dean, College of Business. Dr. Janetta Sims, Dean, Jackson College of Graduate Studies and the University College. Dr. Katherine Webster, Dean, of the College of Liberal Arts, and Charlene Wydell, Interim Dean, the College of Fine Arts and Design. We would also like to recognize our Faculty Senate President, Dr. Jennifer Barger Johnson, as well as our Student Association President, Mr. James Limbaugh. And finally, we would like to take a moment to note that particularly during these past two semesters that have presented them with unforeseen and unprecedented challenges in adjusting instru instructional modalities to a virtual environment amidst a pandemic. UCO exists and succeeds because of its talented and dedicated faculty. Faculty, please accept our gratitude for your contributions to student success. Supporting faculty as they help students learn and coordinating all of the details necessary to make this happen are our department chairs and deans. Department chairs and deans, we thank you for all you do on behalf of students and faculty. President Newhold Ravikumar, on behalf of the Office of Academic Affairs, these fall 2020 graduates, including all candidates for all degrees, have been recommended by the faculty of the University of Central Oklahoma to receive their degrees. We recommend to you that, subject to the satisfaction of all obligations to the university, their degrees, as listed in the printed program, be conferred. In the words of Robert Kennedy, there are those who look at things the way they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and ask why not. We charge all of our fall 2020 graduates to continue to strive to be in the latter group. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you will help us congratulate and celebrate our fall 2020 graduates. Hello, I'm Susan Winchester, president for the Regents of the Regional University System of Oklahoma, the system that encompasses UCO. It's truly an honor to be with you today and to celebrate with you and your families on this very special occasion. I always look forward to the graduation ceremonies. I love waiting outside the auditorium with you. I love seeing your excitement and your enthusiasm as you walk in, but probably most of all, I enjoy the excitement and enthusiasm of your family, your parents, your grandparents, your children, your friends, as you walk across the stage to receive that diploma. 
Obviously, today is a little different. I'm not there with you in person. But today, I, along with my eight fellow regents, extend our congratulations to each of you and wish you the very best on your new journey. Our world has changed in how people work, study, interact, and think about their future. You've worked hard and finished your degree right as the world abruptly changed. But I like to think of these changes as challenges, challenges to overcome, challenges to make a difference, challenges to create a better outcome, and you've done just that. You met the challenges and turned each of those into an opportunity. Through all of this, you've modeled one of the most important characteristics that will ensure your future success, the ability to adapt to changing circumstance. Because of this, I find great hope in your resilience and in your accomplishments and in what we're celebrating today. UCO was putting forward capable, smart, and curious professionals into a world at a time when we need you the most. The world ahead has countless possibilities for you, and I know with the perseverance and tenacity that you've shown, by obtaining your degree, there is absolutely nothing you cannot achieve. As you graduate today, I again extend my congratulations along with those of the other regents and wish you the very best on this journey going forward. Thank you so much for letting me be with you today. Go forward and God bless. Thank you for joining us online today for our fall virtual commencement. Over the past year, you've experienced a rare and life-changing event due to COVID-19. Each generation has its defining moments and this undoubtedly will become one of yours. I can tell you that this event has definitely become one of ours. You've been challenged to stay focused make tough decisions, adapt quickly, and think beyond your present circumstances to meet your future. This year has been a complex exercise in applying what we hope you've learned during your time here. COVID-19 may have cut short your final moments on campus with your teachers, friends, and traditions, but nothing can steal away the fact that you've earned your college degree. We are immensely proud of your resilience and persistence. Today marks a milestone we welcome a new generation of Broncos to the long legacy of graduates from the state's first higher education institution. You are joining an elite group of educated citizens of the world who have earned a college degree. This is a significant moment for you, your family, the university, and society. Our faculty and staff have dedicated themselves to nurturing your potential and creating opportunities for your development. They taught, counseled, advised, and listened to you. Many of our campus community are watching the ceremony with you today because we have been personally invested in your success. But your success was also uplifted by the support you received from friends and family as you worked toward this moment. Graduates, I encourage you to look back at your academic journey and acknowledge the people in your life who have made this day possible for you. Their patience, support, and encouragement ran parallel to your efforts. These gifts are artifacts of their belief in you. I'm excited for you because today you will transition from a journey designed for you to begin another of your own making. Your restlessness, your hope for a better future, or your answering the call to something different may have brought you to the university. This refusal to accept what is, is a choice to move toward what could be. Often in commencement addresses, you hear about the, how the world will change in the coming decade, about how college prepares you for jobs of the future. Well. The world you're about to enter has been fundamentally reshaped by the global pandemic in just nine months. That's all it took to disrupt, deregulate, modernize, and reinvent everything from healthcare to retail to education. As a student, your education was put to the test in the blink of an eye. As educators, we got to see firsthand how you applied what you learned to this new reality. Organizations and businesses have had to face the fact that they may not have had employees who majored in the global forces of unimaginable change, but they needed the employees they had to shift, create, and think critically in an instant. And that's where your UCO education comes in. The traits they hoped you would have a year ago are essential today. Organizations are going to expect you to be flexible. When there's no promise of tomorrow, they want to know if they can count on you. Your willingness to embrace uncertainty and bend with the winds of change is what creates a tomorrow. 
Employers are going to count on your ability to deftly interact with technology. You've grown up with the internet and instant communication in your pocket. Everything at your fingertips and on demand. I mean, there's an app for that, right? You'll need to be perpetual first adopters to demonstrate the heart of an explorer. Your willingness and ability to adapt quickly to changing circumstances will be an essential skill for navigating your future. The economy ebbs and flows with time. Ups and downs have been weathered throughout history, yet never in history has a pandemic impacted the entire globe at once with the expansive and pervasive nature of this virus. What you know for sure today may change completely tomorrow. If the pandemic has highlighted anything, it has shown us the importance of placing the greater good above yourself. As a result of COVID-19, many in the world have awakened to the reality that we are all connected. Our livelihoods, our supply chains, our food resources are all dependent on another industry or person to feed into or distribute goods and services. The world has been forced to ideate a win-win scenario as a means of survival. You have been part of a campus community that has implemented an others first mentality at UCO. We've worn masks for each other. We've raised money for charity. We've marched together for racial equality. We gave time to serve our community. And we've done this because we put the greater good ahead of ourselves. Each of you have put these traits into practice and shown tremendous audacity as you've completed your degree. The class of 2020 will forever be known as the group who graduated the year the world changed. You are stepping into a world in which we all are adoptive citizens. Our job has been to pass on knowledge to give you a firm foundation, create learning experiences that allow you to exercise that knowledge, and design challenges that empower you to develop good judgment about using that knowledge. What we could not do for you was to give you a desire to learn. Your desire to learn had to come from within you, as it always must. We provided the opportunities for you to learn and grow, as well as the support for you to persist, because we believed in you. I know that you, having accepted the challenge and value of education in your life, leave here transformed in deeply meaningful ways, ways you may not fully discover for years to come. You came to us as the person who imagined a better future for yourself and your family. You are leaving us as the person who has been transformed and has the opportunity to apply what you've learned to make the lives of those around you better. And although you are now a graduate, I encourage you to always remain a student. Now go show the world what it means to be a Bronco. Thank you.
Allison Elizabeth Acker. Jesse Ahern. Tori S. Ackright. Christine Marie Albertson. Brandy L. Allen. Deja M. Anderson. Autumn Ray Anthony. Corey N. Atterbury. Magna Cum Laude. Jacqueline Michelle Abouchon. Taylor Martin Avila. Isabella Noel Babb. Matthew B. Bachman. Amanda K. Baker. Matt Baker. Rebecca Brianna Baker. Tatiana Ball Suarez. Jennifer M. Barba. Timothy Barksdale Jr. Roxy Raquel Barnett. Thomas Brian J. Bates. Kenzie Nicole Bean. Lauren P. Beardsley. Magna Cum Laude. Dasha Bell. Abril Bencomo. Tanner D. Bergman. Landon Bilbrey. Mindian Bohon. Ashad Tian Broads. Shamad Kian Broads. Jennifer K. Brown. John T. Bryan. Tyler Mikal Bumgarner. Michaela Marquette Burkett. Joshua Burke. Isaiah Michael Bird. Trevor Alexander Rios Burkett. Bailey Cardenas. Madison K. Carnathan. Ada Zoraida Carnero. Vashonda Carter. Sierra Crisco. Cade Church. Summa Cum Laude. Wanda Jean Clark. Summa Cum Laude. Destiny Lee Coker. Cum Laude. Brittany Nicole Collier. Justine Coleman. Laura Beth Combs, cum laude. Kimberly Ann Conyer. 
Drew D. Cook. Chelsea Leah Cope. Courtney Copeland. Summa Cum Laude. Allison Cordell. Anna Kathleen Cornell. Jacob M. Crawford. Scott J. Krim. Robert Mason Critchfield. Monica R. Crowder. Elizabeth Savage. Summa Cum Laude. Carly Crutchfield, Cum Laude. Ileana Cruz. Jacob Levi Cummins. Cameron A. Dolan. Rachel Lorraine Darrow. Sydney Mercedes Davis Tyler Matthew Davis Germany Deshaun Joyce Davison Aide Nayeli De Leon Espinoza Darian Carson Lamont Dean Shari D. Degman Cody Ray Delk Jessica Lynn Diaz Alexa Dumay Jacob Duncan Summa Cum Laude Hannah Derland, Magna Cum Laude. Rachel Madison Edgar. Audrey Lynn Ellis. Hannah Gillian Esquibel. Ashlyn Nicole Evans Holly Noel Fatkin Jordan Kaylin Fekin Samiri Jetsupa Ferronti Jacqueline Lynette Finley Kale B. Finnell, Magna Cum Laude. Kevin Josue Fiorina. Brittany Christine Fogelsong. Allison Tate Foman. Shannon Elizabeth Op Foster. Ileana Garcia Sarahi Garcia Acosta, Cum Laude April D. Gatlin Briggs Weston George Melanie Denise Gibson, Cum Laude Jasmine Emma Sayede Golshani. Caleb Wayne Gordon. Peyton Mackenzie Ghost. 
Logan Marshall Gregg. Brady Green. Jury Alexa Nicole Green. Aubrey Ann Guthrie. Mariana Gutierrez. Jean Swan Haas. Sydney Elizabeth Haas. Magna Cum Laude. Chelsea Nicole Hale. Bennett Thomas Hall. Magna Cum Laude. Dylan Walker Hall. Keisha L. Hake. Kelsey Ann Harris. Lacey April Harris. Kennedy Jean Harrison. Matthew Brent Hartley. Karen Alexis Deanne Hayes. Cody Mason Nelson Hain. Fabian Hernandez. Brooke Holland. Allison Hopfer. Jesse Allen Horn. Sarah M. Hughley. Lindsay Michelle Hunt. Alexis Don Hutchison. Kaylin Andrew Eilith. Aaliyah Janelle Jackson. Emily Marie Johnson. Julia Malia Joy Johnson. Crystal A. Johnson. Lydia Grace Johnson, summa cum laude. Michaela Noel Jones. Tiara Taishe Jones. James Wyatt Jordan. Rebecca Elizabeth Kern, cum laude. Jake Kerr. Brenton K. Kidd. Alexandra King, magna cum laude. Jessica R. King. Kennedy McLean King. Michelle Koopman. Georgia Dwam Scott Krawicki. Janelle LaForteza. Brittany Lynn Langelotti. Jacob Lanning. Jasmine Lartetsu Lardi. Mandy Lee Lawler. Elisa Mallory Burchett. Jada Lee Lewis. Jared Matthew Lindsay. 
Priya Lullis, Sydney Renee Lomax, Jasmine Elizabeth Luavano, Brianna Ray Mace, Kelly Ryan Madison. Jacob Mahaffey, Tony Brianna Mallard, Lily Ann Martin, Zachary Hunter Paul Matthews, Ashley Mayhew, Magna Cum Laude. Alexander McCammon, Ryan Patrick McCann, Marissa Page Macias, Cum Laude, Daniel James McGee Jr., Lacey Jane McGuire. Brian McLaughlin, Magna Cum Laude. Callie Nicole McMullen. Dawn McRoberts. Micah Mebane. John Mendenhall, Elizabeth Michael, Melanie Joy Mickles, Kyle Bryant Miller, Lauren Ann Miller. Samantha Miller, Renee Milne, Gary Allen Mitchell, Kelly Margaret Monahan, Maggie Lynn Montgomery. Cheyenne Kaylin Moore, Caitlin Moore, Nicholas A. Moran, Caitlin Lee Morgan, Julie C. Morrow, Summa Cum Laude. Alexandria Moss, Michaela Renee Mouse, Ryan Mallory, Lucas Allen Mund, Catherine Murphy. Corey Lynn Myers, Naomi L. Myers, Tara Lynn Dawn Myers, Justin Adina Nafa, William Michael Rain Nichols. Tyler Allen Patrick Nutter, Tori A. Overton, Kaylin D. Owens, Haley Jordan Paradon, He Jin Park. 
Gavin A. Parker. Melanie Salinas Parks. Divya Patel. Melissa Ann Patton. Elizabeth Pendley. Tori Laurie Irene Phillips. Summa Cum Laude. Tina D. Allen. Jacob Powell. Brianna Hope Prom. Kendall D. Pulley. Shayla Nicole Purvis. Jeffrey Allen Rains. Yesenia Ramirez. Cassidy Ray. Cassidy Ray. Matthew A. Reed. Kylie Danielle Reese. Britton Bradley Regeer. Emily Jordan Rareman. Magna Cum Laude. Justin Mario Richardson. Candace Brooke Ring. Michelle Rios. Melia Roan. Cedar Justine Robideau, cum laude. Trey Clayton Roberts. Imelda Alejandra Robles. Evelyn Diana Rodriguez Batista. Nicholas Rody. John Rosales. Brittany Ray Rosebrook. Amber Nicole Roselius. Katie S. Rosenhammer. Megan Mackenzie Roy. Connor Lee Ryan. Hadley Royan Ribsky. Princey Susan Samuel. Magna Cum Laude. Aaron Lee Scott. Magna Cum Laude. Jonathan Ryan Shackelford. Kaylee Renee Sheldon, cum laude. Rose Mary Shrestha. Andrew Schultz. Ashley Elizabeth Simmons. Elizabeth Serena Sirk. Bonnie Lane Skaggs, cum laude. Kale Lynn Smith. Kaylee Madison Smith. Carrie Renee Smith.
Roger Smith. Nora Lee Springer, magna cum laude. Spencer A. Staggs. Stefan Imani Starks. Victoria Rose Stedronsky, cum laude. Dak Stevens. Carmen Stone King. Christina Marie Sundley. Heather Ann Sweet. Madison Lynn Tabor. Billy Joe Tanner, magna cum laude. Kenzie Tatum. David J. Taylor, cum laude. Kelsey N. Taylor. Marcus Jerome Taylor. Bailey Ryan Thompson. Michael Ryan Tice. Olivia G. Todd. Kadriuna L. Townsend. Travis Tracy, summa cum laude. Lauren Francis Trent, magna cum laude. Marissa Trujillo. Jack A. Turner. Tracy Aisha Turner. LaDonna J. Tyner. Madison L. Van Curren. Jerry Varghese. Chase Vickery. Callie Sue Voice. Stacy Vongchanyakal. Ha T Wu, cum laude. Mason Waldrop. Jordan Walker. Julia R. Wallace. Devetta A. Watson. Samuel Watson. Crystal Marie Weil, summa cum laude. Anna Wiley. Kaylee Beth Wilkins. Robert J. Wilkins. Patrick James Wilson. Dylan Wise. Felicia Marie Wood, summa cum laude. Chara Dawn Word. James Andrew Yarbrough. Tigest Ambachu Johannes. Morgan Yost, magna cum laude.
Esteban Mauricio Young. Reagan Lee Zahn. Graduates, I invite you to stand now as your degree is conferred upon you. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and subject to the satisfaction of all obligations to the university, by the authority vested in me by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education and the Board of Regents of the Regional University System of Oklahoma, it is my pleasure to confer upon you the appropriate certificate and degree with all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. You may now move your tassels. Congratulations.